like I said, I've been working in IOT for six years now and um, use various platform backends and still, you know, in 2025, understanding um, going from this to something like this um, is looking at the modern automation approach, right? Yeah. Um, the modern data flow, again, is unique to the site, the circumstances, the network topology. Really, it kind of flows in this process, right? Where on the left-hand side, we have the uh, data flow. So all of our sensors are feeding data into a SCADA system. And here we're using Ignition as an example. So we process that specific data with Ignition. Uh, and here we're using Node-RED, uh, which is acting as a client that uh, publishes and subscribes to data via MQTT, which are then sent to a broker or a messaging server, right? Mm -hmm. um, in the publishing phase, the broker routes all that data to clients. Um, that have subscribed to those specific topics. And then we distribute that, that data in some sort of a, a big data lake, right? That acts as a central repository, which is collecting all raw or processed data that comes in from that, that broker. And then we consume that data via the SCADA HMI, QMS interface, process interface, administration, some custom uh, dashboards for user training, manuals, et cetera, um, pretty easily. Um, and you're not really breaking the bank uh, when, when you're looking at this, this type of topology. And you would be surprised how fast um, a manufacturing process uh, facility can be up and running compared to where we were 10 to 15 years ago.